Robert back here. Haven't got to hit too many yard sales this summer, but um, have hit some flea markets, Goodwills, and uh, this past weekend we had our um, local, not local, local, but in the same county where I live, the other side of the county, they have a swap days a couple times a year at the local fairgrounds. So I did attend that this weekend, and uh, let me show you what I picked up. Go ahead and get this out of the way first. It's just an old broken um, two man um, saw blade from back in the day. These are great for making my little neck knives. I'd used the last piece of steel last week on making a, making one of those little neck knives for a co worker. I was completely out of steel, so I've got another completely, almost complete blade. The end of it's broken off. Um, I give 10 bucks for that. I mean, for, that's well worth it. I mean, I'll use every bit of that eventually. I mean, that's enough to last me forever. Okay, I picked up almost a full bottle of uh, Loctite. I use a lot of this on my lanterns. And I don't know last, if any of y'all bought any of this recently, but this stuff is outrageously priced at the auto parts stores. I mean, I've been given 15 bucks for a bottle half this size and a little bottle that's got half ounce in it or something they're like four or five bucks anymore and uh it's just it's just crazy through the roof on the price on this stuff for some reason but got almost a full bottle here for here for a buck i mean couldn't pass that up for sure okay i picked up uh, almost a full can of choke and carb cleaner and probably three quarters of a can almost full um brake parts cleaner a buck can't go wrong with that okay i picked up a couple of these uh insulated coffee mugs two dollars a piece and they're coleman they that's coleman to boot i mean you can't go wrong with with a good camp coffee cup, especially when it says Coleman. Okay. About halfway through seeing the two Coleman lanterns sitting on the ground. Not in the best shape it ever was, but they'll clean up all right. And uh, I passed them up. Actually, I walked past them twice. And before I left, they were still sitting there. So I walked back over. Asked the lady what she wanted for them and uh, she said they belonged to another guy that was standing over behind her so she asked him an older guy and he came back and said uh, 15 dollars a piece and i said no i said i don't think i can do that i said i'll give you uh, 20 dollars for the pair and he said okay so basically 10 bucks a piece i can these are my money makers in my showcase if i buy them for 10 dollars or less a piece i can clean them up and um make a good profit on them not a good profit but i'll make a profit either that or i'll clean them up and give them away i mean you all know if you follow me so i'm always giving away lanterns so these may be some giveaway ones or i might have some better ones here that i'll give away and go ahead and clean these up and put them on booth vice versa one or the other we'll see okay now we'll get into the goodwill finds and uh but the swap days is not over yet. I'm saving the cream of the crop for last. Okay, hit a good wheel. Start with the mat. Got a uh, army issue uh, sleeping mat. It's um, $2. Those are always handy. I've given a few of them away. Um... Picked up a cooling rack or whatever you want to call that. But I already have one of these in one of my Dutch ovens. But I will shorten the legs on these. 
and put these in the bottom of the Dutch oven to put my chicken on or whatever I want to cook and I'll, I'll usually pour cocoa underneath and let it simmer up through the chicken so uh, I've been needing another one of them so I found another one that fit my Dutch oven uh, I think it was 99 cents okay also at Goodwill I found this uh, army canteen cup um, had a sticker I don't know what happened to it that was also 99 cents last but not least this is a uh, pour over coffee filter and uh, honestly I don't know what happened to the price on either one of them but these were all 99 cents a piece so you'll be seeing this in a upcoming uh, coffee challenge video be interested and try this out to see what happens it's kind of neat it's different I don't know if you can see it or not but it's actually a mesh screen all the way around real fine mesh and then real fine stainless steel kind of like a mesh two layers and uh screen plus the layer of stainless steel that's full of little tiny holes almost like a mesh so it will soak in and drip down and uh i guess the bottom of that i can't tell maybe it's a real fine mesh too but also the drilled stainless steel in the center so we'll see how that thing works in a coffee challenge okay last year I picked up a uh, knife from a, uh, he calls, his, calls it the Twisted Metal Forge. He's a local here in the county, and he makes the hand-forged knives. I picked up a knife last year that I really fell in love with. It had a real good feel to it, but you, you guys know me. Uh, somebody give me something, and in return, I gave them my knife. I mean, that's just that's the way we roll when we go to our campouts. So anyway, I went back and that guy was set up again. He didn't have as good of a selection as he did last year. And each one of his knives are different. There's no two the same. So the first one I picked up right here, this is a, he said this was a uh, mahogany with a antler spacer on it there. I guess that's what you call a Scandi grind. Kind of like the Mora. It looks like it does have a secondary edge on it there. Razor sharp, but it is sharp. But I got a feeling that's going to take a real good edge. I know the last one I picked up, um, James, in about 20 minutes' time, he had that thing scary sharp, let me tell you. So if I can't do it, I'll, I'll, I'll have him hit this one for me. Okay, here's the next one. This is very similar to the one that I bought last year that I really fell in love with. It's got a good feel, but it just don't have the feel like the other one did. But it's still a really nice knife. And, uh... Okay, that, that one will shave you. So, uh... I was tickled to find another one. And I didn't ask him what type of handle that was, but that kind of looks like a uh, maple maybe with uh, the mahogany. I think that's the mahogany again on the end there. So it's, I mean, both of these are just absolutely gorgeous knives. And uh, yeah, well, I was tickled by a couple more from him. This bigger one I took over to the strop and I just hit it four or five times. Not a good patch of hair. I mean, that thing is really shaving now. So, just a little bit of attention. This, this thing could be razor sharp. Okay. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.